It's Fisher Price Friday. Let's complete my Little People Babies collection coming up after this. All right, here they are. The last three packs that I haven't opened. Now, I mean, I haven't gotten any of the large play sets, so it's really the full collection of these tiny ones. Not all of the ones are shown. I've got the tiny ones and the mid-sized ones. There's this book here. It only comes with one figure, and it's a book. I didn't get that. The price in Canada seemed to be like $40 for it. It just it wasn't worth it any time I would see it. Even $20 would be enough for a book that I'm not going to use and just one character. Sometimes you can buy, like on Amazon and even from the Mattel store itself, you can buy the figures from the play sets, but they are so similar to the ones that I get in these little sets. And I have all of the accessories and things. I think all of the good and best accessories are in these smaller sets. Like you can see there too, which I opened up all of these. You can check out the other videos. I guess there are some things in here, but the figures are basically the same figures. So I don't need these cumbersome sets. I mean, you get a bed and do we have a chair like this? A walking chair? Um, I'm not sure. We're going to look at my full collection. I'm going to need a bigger box or to divide this up in some way afterwards. They come with some soft goods that are really cute. They're adorable. This set especially with the shark blanket and the, is it a pool? A turtle pool? And he's holding a bunny. I mean, those animals do not make sense together, which is cute and adorable. On this set, and then this set, we have a, uh, a couple blankets and two little characters. There's that bunny again being held and that one has a bottle. Two little girls in this case. Very adorable. And then in this, we get an, a little motorized vehicle. Well, I guess it's not. It's a hand-pulled um, wagon. And that baby comes with a bottle. And it comes with this little blanket hoodie thing. The kitty hoodies. The hoodies are the best. I have this bunny one, for example. This is showing you different stuff. Or, you know, the backs of these are all showing um, uh, the... Uh, oh, but other the things that um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. There are some things that aren't being shown there because this is probably a later wave. The artwork is on. I can't, I don't think there's a cuter, um, I don't think there's cuter art out there than this baby. I still haven't found out who this artist is. I would definitely follow them on Instagram. I kind of need to know because look how cute that is. It does remind me a lot of the little books. Um, what are those called? Look at how cute the babies are. Little golden books. The artwork that's being put in those day. And that snuggle baby. Oh, that's sad. I think I have a double of this though. And of course I'm going to open up this one that does have a little tear in it because uh, yeah, I think I have a full set, maybe not a full set of all of these small single pack cards um, for the display one day, if I ever, you know, make room for that. I can only have so many toys displayed. I do have my adult collector little people on the wall. I hope you saw that last video. I do show that at the end. I am going to open up these carefully. Actually, no, I'm not because... There's no way to do it except to rip the bubble off. So we're just going to have to go ahead and do it. Oh man. Oh my goodness. It's made with that terry cloth that does is like a baby. It has a fin, guys. The shark teeth are going to go over the mouth of the baby's head. I mean, it's going to eat the baby. And I don't remember getting a curly-haired baby. This might be my only curly-haired baby like this. I'm going to have to take a look at the full collection. Full diaper. That's its bum. And it's got a bunny plush and a pacifier in its mouth. And check out this. I love when Fisher-Price mixes um, the soft goods. I especially like the sets where they mix in the wood and the recycled plastic. I do have a few more of those sets coming up in the future. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will know soon. Um, check out this shark eaten baby. 
little fish on, I guess it's a shark, on its t-shirt. So cute. And then what is this? This is the pool. Oh, it is a pool. So we have a turtle pool, a quintessential toddler toy. Check out of this, the design, the molding, the turtle's bum and tail, cute face, a little side grin. Oh, so it's like a little towel, I guess, after the baby gets out of the turtle pool. You can see how cute that is. Can I get that closer to you? Let me see if I can get a, a setup here so that we can leave that up front in personal. Oh, I'm not high enough. Oh, I'm crooked. Oh, things are falling. It wouldn't be a Two Hunky Toys video if things weren't falling. Let's see, I'll push it back a little bit. Put this back on. You can bask in that cuteness while I open up these double mint twins here. So they come with two blankets. The twins always come with two different blankets. Do I have those twins? Do I recognize those blankets? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. We'll, we'll find out soon. Okay, here is the blanket. I'm sure I'm going to be able to find some, like, Instagram pictures, just centering a baby on there and using that as the backdrop, but the, the little patterns are so cute on these. Hey, wait, you can't even see that one. Oh, there it is. A baby in a flower. Just really cute, light pastel patterns for babies. And then, let's pull out the two babies. We got a baby in a t-shirt, little golden hair, little bow. She is holding the bunny too. And then this one holding the bottle, bow in the hair, shirtless with a bib, full diapers, tattoos on their ankles saying little people. Pretty standard, um, quite adorable. These ones have good printed on faces. Their yeah, faces do tend to be pixelated. Some um, years they've been darker than others. I guess I will show you examples of that later. And then we can put them on their little blankets. And they can hang out there and let's open up the last set in the wagon. This is a great set because we're getting a vehicle, which we've got a few of, and then we're getting one of another one of these, and these are probably my favorite things that they make. These little kitty or little animal cocoons, sleeping bags that they can go into, cozies, look at the paws, look at the belly, even a tail bum on its bum on the back, cute. And even the scenes, the background, you notice the trees. Oh, 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 I caught it between my legs. Um, the scenery in the background, so cute. I had to destroy it. The back of this scenery is clouds. So cute. All right, here is the wagon. This is cute. It's really also fun to use these baby toys with like the different properties. I like to use them with the masters of the universe, little people. And, uh, you know, mix and match, especially because we have so many crazy, the golden girls can go ride in this thing, the kiss band. They love to rock and roll in this. So good. Elvis can take this for a stroll. So good. It's got stars on it. The little peg. I love the little Fisher Price logo on the back. And the baby can be pulled this way. That would be really cute. It can be pulled sideways. I like this going by. It can be looking forward. It can go for a ride by itself down a hill in this thing. Cute. Adorable. Oh. This is a great set. I mean, these things don't even have anything to do with each other. You can't really use this and this together. I mean, you don't. If you don't use the foot peg and you go like this, that is that is oh, dropping everything today. <laughs> That's pretty cute. But this, nothing tops of this cuteness of this baby all snuggled up. I think I have to make a thumbnail of this. <sighs> This is better than the boxed with the glare. 
get the glare off the baby's face. So shiny, so cute. I wonder if you can see this one. There's a thumbnail. Oh, take off my glasses. <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay, we need to pull out the other things and show you. Since I've collected them all, today would be the best time to do the overview of everything. We have babies with, you stand over here, babies with little hats on. Strawberry. I will link more of the videos of these reviews down below. We have more little twins, so little blonde twins to go with the little quint quintuplets. Is that what these are called? They were all, all the same babies. Little blonde baldies. That was a set of two little blonde boys. Oh, or maybe it was him too. Okay, I don't know. Quintuplets maybe is five. Anyway, six sink. Sink couplets. Look at them. Anyway, I think we need to contain them. Let's contain the little five twins in this. So let's put them all together in here. All the little blonde bald babies. We can keep those together. Okay, what I really wanted to show you were like, look at this. We got a little frog sleeping bag. Is that for him? Is he a frog head? Yeah. I, that must have been his. Cute. And then here's a little bath mat. That was adorable. A little panda arrow. It seems these ones with the hats come with these sleeping bags or snuggies or cozies or whatever you would call them. Oh, they look so cute in their soft goods. Okay, what else do I have here? All right. So like this one, we had a little ducky. Needs to be a volunteer for that. I think he was from a a twin set. We have two little dark complected tuft babies, hair little hair tufts, right there. They're baldies, but cute. Oh, right here is a good one. So maybe this was the only other um, hooded sleeping bag. This bunny one. And who would that go to? I don't know, but here's another raccoon head. Those hat ones are really cute too. This little girl, I think she was a twin. I think she came in a twin pack like this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh no. Babies everywhere. And then all of these different cute little blankets. I can't help myself. Oh yeah, that's the one that I was questioning if I had or not. And then another cute little pattern. Fisher Price Man make the best patterns. Oh, here's another one with clouds. Adorable. I want to put something in this bunny. Actually, he might have been the bunny. He does have a bunny on his bib. I think he was the bunny baby. Let's put him in here. So it is just two. It's a kitty and bunny version of these hoodie ones. I guess um, they, they've got to be, they've got to be the best parts, my favorites. Even though I don't know about a shark baby here. His little hoodie's pretty cute too. Yeah, I like these little rubber ducky blankies. Put that on somebody. So, so cute. Stinking cute. All right, stay tuned to the end. I'll show you more of this furniture. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. a high chair with a food mess. We have a little carriage. Oh man, we have to do races with all of the ones with the wheels. Hey, how did these get out? I don't even think I showed them to you. Two little buggies here. They came in a 
little single set. Says we have a toilet that when you lift it up, uh, it's clean, but when a baby sits on it, it pees. Disgusting. We have a, a little bear chair. That's new. I don't even remember opening that one. We have a little bowl with some more food in it. We have this swing set. Oh, that's, that was a big set. Cute little swing for the baby. We have a, oh, a doctor's office. That's really cute. I guess you can look at, feel its heart. Hear its heart. Little change table, or I guess it's an operating. Oh, no, not an operating exam. An examining table. Don't operate on the babies. No, but cute. Lots of designs there. A bottle. Mmm, milky. Uh, then we have a spoon. It's a kind of oversized, but they're plump babies. They like to get a lot of food in. We have a little hopping, bumping bed. Bunnies. I think that one came with the bunny ears. I have a little teeter totter here, and it's a bear teeter totter with stars and uh, colors. Oh, there's so much stuff here. We got a sink with a little platform. Oh no, to stand on and uh, wash their little dirty faces. And oh, and there's a bathtub to wash their little dirty bums. Again, lots of details. And then we have a, a prime beef scale to weigh the baby. <laughs> it does look like a scale that you would weigh meat on, but, you know, little rump roasts is what babies are. And then we've got, you know, a, I don't know, this is either to look into their ears or, yeah, to look into their ears. Vacuum out the wax. And then we have a thermometer hollow on the back and then we get a little toothbrush but it's really big especially for someone who doesn't have any teeth do they have a teeth no no teeth just gums maybe it's to comb their bald head i don't know maybe it's to clean under them armpits oh stinky baby